So F sub C is a great company and we are really inspired by the fact that we want to create value from the oceans in the sustainable way. So we are a team of uh, almost 20 people based here in Oslo under a single roof where we share knowledge across multiple disciplines within mechanical, hydraulic, electric and uh, digital solutions and automation. So it's a great community of people that are um, developing innovative technologies to make pumping much more simple. So we are a proud bunch with a global impact. Right now here at FCFC, we are involved in a project with five energy majors to make a gigantic subsea pump, two and a half megawatt, which is completely self-sustained with the world's biggest magnetic coupling. So no seals, no barrier fluid. That's going on in the workshop. Yeah, so one of the biggest challenges that we have is to attract uh, talent and in this engineering industry we particularly have a challenge with attracting females for some reason. So that's one of the things we're actually working on uh, right now to both attract and, and keep uh, all the talent when, when uh, several of our customers and partners and competitors are also looking for the same talent. We really want to help our clients to get more out of existing infrastructure and existing fields. So, that, so one of the primary applications for our pumps is to decarbonize the oil and gas industry. So we are really trying to make things much more simple to both increase recovery from uh, existing fields and also accelerate recovery so we can switch off the fields faster but still get oil and gas which we think is uh, relevant for orderly transition into a new more climate friendly economy. And then the other application which is a huge opportunity is to make desalinated water on the seabed. So that's another great uh, project we are working on right now with the clients outside oil and gas. I mean, overall sustainability is important for us. So uh, even though the United Nations isn't perfect, we have chosen as a framework the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. So that's our perspective on, on, uh, on climate starts there. Because we think a holistic approach that includes pollution, access to water and poverty is also important. So every product and every solution we work on has to be mapped specifically to how it's helping to achieve the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. But on climate, we want to be net zero, which is a, you know, it's a big part of the, the Sustainable Development Goals. We want to be net zero within three to five years uh, using uh, the science-based targets and the Greenhouse Protocol as our main framework. In practice, I think most of our impact on achieving net zero will be through our products, so scope three, how our, our products can help our clients reduce their emissions. Because we are a small company, so our direct emissions and under scope one and also the scope two emissions are rather small comparatively. In general, I sleep quite well, so there, and I fall asleep very fast. So, but if I, I was to point out uh, a single thing, I think um, I'm a little confused about the paradox of the, um, the lack of um, momentum in nuclear. I think we do have technology in the nuclear which is both clean and safe, which due to historical reasons we are not embracing more fully. So I think that could be not the whole solution, but a very important part of the solution, which is very much near term in terms of light water reactors and technology which is there. So we should embrace that more um, aggressively and listen to the IPCC and what they say about it. Probably the most valuable thing will be the network so that you get access to the movers and the shakers in the industry and you get to meet people and companies that are involved in the same industry or related industry as you are. So you get to leverage the network effects of, uh, of scale as well as the, the single voice that you can get towards the, um, the political domain or the global domain by having kind of a spokesperson in Energy Valley when you're going outside of Norway. So it really helps and I, I truly think it's the, it's the network effect and the community effect which is the biggest one. To single out one, it should be James Dyson, the UK uh, entrepreneur. There was recently a biography published, I think it's called Invention uh, Life or something like that, Invention of Life. And it really 
shows how grit and perseverance uh, is one of the key aspects to get things done. I think he made more than 5,000 prototypes of some of the, the, the Dyson vacuum cleaners. Uh, so, so grit, perseverance, but also I think he majored in arts, but still he became a very competent engineer. So it, it really shows that, and myself, I'm from finance and marine biology, so that, uh, but still working in the engineering. So I think I recognize some of those features, but also how he never gave up and how we were able to inspire lots of young and old people to work towards a common goal and build great products.